Obama's emergence as the presumptive Democratic nominee has left some Hillary Clinton supporters frustrated. Candidate John McCain is moving quickly to try, at least, to take advantage of that. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron tells us how McCain plans to do it. I have addressed you. And John McCain praised like Democrats Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton uh, at a convention of print reporters in the battleground state of Florida, then began the process of overtly courting Clinton's soon-to-be former supporters. I'm proud of the fact that Hillary Clinton, in, uh, Senator Clinton, inspired a generation of young women as a father of three daughters. I, I, I congratulate her. Thanks again. Now McCain wants to inspire women and others who backed Clinton to flip to him. He's launched a new web page as part of his overall cyber campaign, specifically designed to court two of Clinton's most loyal constituencies, white women and white blue-collar workers, specifically so-called Reagan Democrats. Already some Clinton supporters are backing McCain with help that's controversial to say the least. This web page has gotten more than 400,000 hits since it was posted Saturday by a Clinton delegate to the Texas Democratic State Convention, a self-described Bible-thumping, gun-toting redneck who uses videos of Obama's controversial former pastor and even his wife to repeatedly mention race. As a black man, you know, Barack can get shot going to the gas station. McCain today issued another blanket denunciation of what he's dubbed disrespectful extreme rhetoric from Obama's critics. I will do everything I can to keep anything that may be that kind of ugliness out of this political campaign. He may find it tough to silence some Clinton backers feeling bitter about her defeat. This New York Democrat attended the Democratic National Committee's meetings in Washington this last weekend. They think we won't turn and vote for McCain. Well, I got news for all of you. McCain will be the next president of the United States. But it may be comments about Obama from the Clintons themselves that proved to be McCain's most potent weapon. The Republican National Committee began reposting a few on the web in just the last 24 hours. Senator McCain will bring a lifetime of experience uh, to the campaign. I will bring a lifetime of experience, and Senator Obama will bring a speech that he gave in 2002. When's the last time we elected a president based on one year of service in the Senate? Expect to see those videos a lot more in the days ahead. The McCain camp also plans to flood states Clinton won with numerous high-profile women for McCain. In addition, his point person at the Republican Party headquarters, Carly Fiorina, plans town hall meetings targeting female small business owners next week. Fiorina is the former head of Hewlett Packard and seemed to begin her appeal to former Clinton voters earlier this week when she suggested that Clinton had been subjected to sexism. She said women in positions of power are often treated differently, and the treatment of Clinton demonstrates it. In other words, come to John McCain, he'll be different, right?